EA is releasing Team of the Season on Thursday at Reset. Here's a quick guide on how to get ready, what we know, and what we don't. Hey guys, finally he sleeps here. Team of the Season is coming, and it's coming quick. It is dropping on Thursday, which is much sooner than anybody anticipated because we're still in the middle of UCL, uh, and we've been getting these you know, two-week pack promos on top of things, and we had so much more planned before the release of Team of the Season. Uh, make sure you subscribe here at YouTube, though. Turn on notifications and all that stuff so you never miss when a video goes live. All right, let's get into it. We're going to discuss what we know, what we don't, what you should do to prepare, and uh, what you can do to get ready for the release of this on Thursday. First up, the video shots that were released of Community uh, show at release we're going to get Community, we're going to get Premier League, and Tots icons, and then another tab, Tots collection, whether or not that will actually be open at the time, we don't know. So every day you're going to log in, uh, Community is the main tab, and there's just uh, six things you can do, including skill games, matches, and uh, daily claim, and ads that refresh every 12 hours. So it's two ads per day here, uh, which is similar to what we had with uh, Prime Heroes, we have two ads. UCL, we have two ads. So it's not a big deal. It's the same kind of thing. You're going to get community points every time you do any of these tabs, which the, if you've played any of the previous seasons, you know that how this works. Each tab is a different league. So the community points only work for the community tab. And it's a random draw. You have two weeks of rewards 60 points a reward collection, but it's once you collect one, it gets checked off. You can get all 14 the first two weeks, and then the next two weeks, you're looking at another 14 opportunities uh, based on what it is. Uh, we don't know the numbers yet at this point if you're going to be able to claim all 14. Most likely, you're going to be able to claim all 14 rewards. Uh, there's no pass for community. Uh, it's just straight up community. Now we do know that this tab is here for at least four weeks. It may be there for longer. Uh, they they mentioned on the dev stream that this is your main tab to start with. Uh, there are a lot of stuffs in there. You know, the, with the opportunity up to I believe a 109 is about as high as you're going to get in the community tab. There are a lot of community players that are available, but this is what we see in the main tab. The next one is the Premier League tab. Now, this is the bulk of what Team of the Season is. Each week, a new league is added uh, that is dropped within the event, and you can claim players from those. Now, the difference between this year and seasons past is from the first look of this event, it appears that each of the tabs are only available for seven days. That's when they expire. So it's a completely different system. And the way it appears is you should be able to claim something within that first seven days, depending upon how much you have. There are five levels of difficulty with Premiere, and you're going to play them one time per day for the course of the seven days. Uh, there are also two ads to watch, uh, you know, one that refreshes every seven hours. And there are also exchanges that are involved in this. We didn't get to see the exchanges. We just know they're there. And there is... Uh, just a decent amount of Premier League players. But the weird thing is that it's only there for a week. Uh, expectations at this time looks like that tab is going to switch to a new league each week. You keep community, but we get a new league each week. The guide is releasing right before the event comes, and there will be more information into there, including like duration of the event and what we can expect. Uh, will this Premier League, are these players only available for seven days and then they come back in week five? We don't know. Uh, but at this time, it appears that each league is one week only. One week only. I, I don't exactly know how we're going to, like, how to feel about that. It, it is what it is. Uh, there's also a pass 
for each league, uh, the expectations are that the pass will be purchasable with FIFA points the same way we've had with passes in the past uh, that are specifically related to many events or portions of a major event. Uh, the In the, the pass, you have these pass points, which are generic points that you can use anywhere. Uh, they're going to be available in the pass. Most likely, as new leagues are added, you'll have a new pass uh, but these pass points will carry through, which is another reason we're kind of anticipating that the Premier League will either come back after the leagues are, are done or it'll stay. You just no longer can play skill games and matches, but we won't know that until the guide releases or we know more from there. Uh, but again, a 111 is possible in the pass. Here we have 111 Salah. Uh, their right wing. There will be a challenge mode as well. We just don't have any screenshots or expectations, but plan on something very similar or exactly the same as what we've had in Prime Heroes. The next tab is Tots Icons. Now, this is a little different. You're going to log in each day and play a skill game and a match. Uh, then I don't believe there are any ads in here, just the uh just the the skill games and matches it looks like you get 20 points per day uh, that could change because this is just a um teaser build for the event but right now it looks like 20 points per day for that stuff maldini the 115 center back refreshes weekly so he is only available for seven days and then after those seven days a new 115 icon is supposed to be released. So if you look right here, if you click on it, expires in seven days. Now, this is not Maldini. This is a chance out Maldini. Uh, the odds here are not shown as far as what it goes, but they're just showing that there's a possibility you could claim 115 Maldini. But it only takes 50 points to go for it, it's a gamble on what you're going to get. You could end up with 100,000 coins and move on. There are 112s, including 112 King Kenny. Uh, just saying, uh, the 112s are 900 points. Uh, and if you're only getting 20 points per day, that means these will take you 45 days to claim. That's if the numbers based on this tease and then the, the early leak are correct. 45 days for a 112, 15 days for a 111, though. And if this is the way we expect it to be, you should be able to get uh, multiple 111s if you're playing the same thing every day and this thing does stay throughout the course of the entire event. The 111s and 110, 112s do not refresh, only the 115. We also have quests that are for this. There are daily quests uh, that will have to do with what league is being released for this week. Uh, in addition to the daily quests, there are weekly quests. Again, these are only for the league that is released right now. So here in the tease, you can see Premier League stuff. Uh, there is also, before anybody asks... There is Ultimate Team of the Season as part of this. This is the only T screenshot we have, but there will be Ultimate Team of the Season as well. When that's going to happen as far as the rest of it goes, we do not know. We just know that there will be Ultimate Team of the Season towards the end. Uh, right now, what we don't know is how long the event is. Will the leagues remain or will they return or, or are they good for seven days only and then disappear? We don't know that yet. We're still waiting on the guide. Uh, the other big thing is if we get all of the leagues in and then is ultimate just available at the end? Is it a couple of weeks after? Are there going to be exchanges for the ultimate or how it's going to work? That information we probably won't know until later in all of it. Again, this all goes back to what's actually being dumped in. If you watch the dev stream, you could tell that the information we were getting was was partial. It was just a tease, and people were asking multiple questions, and no answers were coming for that kind of stuff. And it was because those answers aren't known at this time. We're still waiting for all of the information on the, the event build to get released so that uh, we know how to work forward and to know what the guide's going to look like. And you can expect all of that a couple of hours 
before the release of the event. What can you do to prepare for team of the season? You're going to need coins because as with anything, the uh, challenge mode and the exchanges and stuff are going to require specific players from the event to be eligible. The other big major thing is this is going to kill values for most stuff uh, in the, the range uh, below 110, 109, because you're going to be able to claim a lot of the players from this event, uh, specifically from each league that drops in, and it's going to render a lot of this stuff that we all have less valuable. People are going to get their start dumping the teams that they have, the players that they have, to first get coins so they can buy the new players, and two, because they're receiving players that are worth more than what we have now. So it lowers values of exi existing cards, and we start to see as each league goes on, if this is only one week per league, that could see an increase in value for that league stuff as it comes towards the end, if they're going away at the end of the week. But again, that's speculation, and that seems a pretty closed i mean that's a small window one week for each league i just i can't imagine that's the final information so we're going to wait on the guide to see what else that happens to should you sell your team before you come into this event that i i, I never understood that unless you're receiving a lot of players right out of the gate. There are a lot of stuff you have to do in here with your team. So you see these reports like, I'm dumping my whole team. I'm selling everybody because Tots is here. To me, that's like selling your shoes before the race starts because there's a store halfway to the finish line and you want you want new kicks. That doesn't It doesn't make sense to me to get rid of all your stuff right away. Uh but again, values are going to drop uh, moving forward into this. Drops tomorrow. We'll see more when all of it comes out, how long it's going to last, and all the rest of the questions. If this helped uh, and it was a quick, straightforward kind of breakdown of what we know and what we don't, make sure you subscribe uh, so you don't miss when this stuff comes forward. I'm finally he sleeps. Thanks a lot. As long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep making videos.